Fala galera do Drops de Jogos, vamos falar um pouquinho sobre Sonic hoje no Drops News. A SEGA lança a nova série Speed Tra Strats para Sonic Frontiers. Não esqueça gente de curtir o vídeo, se inscrever no canal e ativar o sininho para você ficar muito bem informado. Em comemoração ao lançamento mundial de Sonic Frontiers, a SEGA revelou, divulgou na verdade, uma nova série de vídeos, a Sonic Frontiers Speed Strats, apresentando os jogadores como explorar a primeira aventura em zona aberta do Ouriço Azul, coletar as Chaos Emeralds e ser mais esperto do que o malvado doutor Robotnik Wegman. Você pode assistir o primeiro episódio da Sonic Frontiers Speed Strats aqui e conferir abaixo um detalhamento dos principais recursos de gameplays que são discutidos no primeiro episódio. Tem os desafios. Os jogadores podem participar de vários desafios para desbloquear novas partes do mapa, pontos de viagem rápida e recompensas. Desbloquear o seu mapa pode ajudá-lo a encontrar guardiões, portais de cyberspace, memory tokens e muito mais. Para encontrar um desafio, fique de olho no círculo vermelho com um indicador no, no ponto de educação de interrogação. Esteja ciente que alguns desafios só podem ser tentados à noite, o que será indicado com o ícone da lua. O Cyberloop. O Cyberloop pode ser usado para resolver quebra-cabeças, derrotar inimigos, gerar anéis e obter outros itens colecionáveis. Tem o Rail Launching, a ajuda da Cocos, é, que tem o coco perdido, que é um coco ancestral. Tem o Drop Dash e o Starfall Event, que é um evento que acontece em noites aleatórias e tem a viagem rápida dentro do game. A gente vai gravar aqui um vídeo rapidamente retratando essa notícia e vou mostrar aqui o episódio que está presente lá no YouTube para vocês entenderem um pouco melhor. Vamos ver juntos aqui esse capítulo que é muito importante. Não esquece, vão curtindo, vão compartilhando, vou curtindo e vou compartilhando, vou curtindo e vou compartilhando, que é muito importante para todos vocês terem aí as informações necessárias. Vamos ver juntos. What you see is what you get. Just some friends who love adventure. Sonic, Tails, and Amy are headed to the Starfall Islands to find the Chaos Emeralds. Wait, all the Chaos Emeralds in one spot? Doesn't that sound kind of dangerous? Yep, definitely dangerous. But where's the fun in being careful? Oh, don't worry, you're safe with us, because Cyberspace just uploaded some new speed strats Esqueci de avisar que o vídeo é inglês, né, gente? Straight to my brain. At this point, we're assuming that you've all at least tried out Sonic Frontiers. If not, you should try out Sonic Frontiers. In the game, Sonic has to navigate through five massive islands, each with their own open zone areas to explore. This episode will focus on these expansive, free-roaming areas, and I'm here with a few expert tips and tricks. On each of the Starfall Islands, Sonic will encounter several challenges he'll have to solve in order to unlock the area's secrets. Trust us, completing challenges whenever you see them is key if you want to know where you're going, as each spawns ancient grind rails to easily traverse the islands and unlocks a large portion of your map. This process also reveals the locations of guardians, cyberspace and fishing portals, memory tokens, elder and hermit cocoa, and even other challenges on the map. To find a challenge, be sure to look out for this indicator. Keep in mind that some challenges can only be attempted at night, which will have this icon. By completing every challenge on the island, you'll unlock the full map and see a beautiful 100% score for that open zone area on the island selection screen. Also, you'll obtain the option to fast travel to any cyberspace or fishing portal, even those you haven't found or completed. Just be sure to select the fast travel page on the map. Loop-de-loop, -loop, meet, Psy loop You might already know that the Psy Loop can be used to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. But here's something about it you'll want to keep in mind. See these points with a treasure chest icon? Be sure to use the Psy Loop around these for a chance to get a ton of memory tokens, a portal gear, a vault key, and more. Speaking of the Psy Loop's hidden abilities, here's another trick that might come in handy. By drawing an infinity symbol with the light trail, Sonic will earn an unlimited boost gauge for a short period of time. This pairs perfectly with the lightning fast speed from Sonic's power boost. 
which is earned by collecting the maximum amount of rings that you can hold. The ancient rails that you unlock in challenges can be utilized as another form of fast travel. However, we've discovered a useful speed strat that allows Sonic to launch himself at extremely fast speeds. We're calling this move Rail Launching. With this, you can use both your speed and momentum to take massive shortcuts and easily get to higher areas. To pull this move off, it's essential to find a rail that has a steep incline. The steeper the incline, the more airtime you'll get. First, be sure to activate Sonic's power boost for the best results. Then, once on the rail, boost and jump off the rail while on its incline. It's best to hold both the boost and jump button when doing this. There are plenty of shortcuts and areas you can reach by performing rail launches. Once you master this technique, you'll be soaring around the Starfall Islands at supersonic speed. As you find Coco throughout the open zone areas, bring them to one of the Elder Coco locations on the island to then upgrade your speed and or maximum ring capacity. At first, changes from upgrades might seem small, but when leveling up more over time, you're able to unlock some extremely useful abilities, such as faster wall climbing, more health against enemies, and the ability to use the power boost forever without needing to obtain your maximum amount of rings. Upgrades from the Hermit Coco are very helpful in terms of combat. Providing him with red seeds of attack and blue seeds of defense will upgrade these respective traits. Hit enemies for more damage and lose less rings when you're hit. For the first time ever, the Drop Dash from Sonic Mania makes its way into 3D. Pretty cool, right? The Drop Dash is particularly useful when trying to climb up cliffs and mountains, as the sudden burst of speed will launch you upward. Also, you can use it to roll down hills in style. After a few nights on the islands, a special event called Starfall will occur that respawns all the enemies and items in an open zone area. During this time, a slot machine will also appear on the screen. By collecting the fallen star pieces on the ground, Sonic will be able to use this slot machine as a chance to get a ton of purple coins for fishing. Speaking of fishing, there's a small chance that you'll find a scroll for the Elder Coco or Hermit Coco respectively, which allows you to instantly teleport to them from the map's fast travel page. <sighs> Man, we've covered a lot already. But now it's time to enter cyberspace again. Wait, Big? What are you doing here? That's right. Next speed strats, we're going fishing. But we'll also talk about some of the other interesting aspects in Sonic Frontiers. See you then. Speed strats. Sonic Frontiers, é um grande jogo, tô jogando depois a gente vai ter uma resenha mais detalhada no Drops de Jogos, temos o padrinho para vocês financiarem o nosso site e da longa e próspera, gente, boa tarde para todo mundo boa almoço para quem ainda não almoçou, gente, até mais tchau, tchau